video, we will be finding the intervals of increasing and decreasing, the local max and mins, intervals of concavity, and inflection points of this function. We will be using the function f of x equals x to the fourth minus 2x squared plus 3. The next thing you do is find the derivative of this function. The derivative is 4x cubed minus 4x. Next, you have to find the critical points. To find the critical points, you have to find when f prime equals 0 or when f prime is undefined. Since f prime is never undefined, we will solve for when f prime equals 0. Our next step is we want to factor out of 4x. x equals 0. And x equals 1. The next thing we do is make a number line with your critical points. Next, I will plug in a number smaller than negative 1 into f prime. That gives you a negative. When I plug in negative 1 half, I get a positive. When I plug in positive 1 half, I get a negative. And when I plug in 2, I get a positive. Now that we have the critical points, we can find where f is increasing and decreasing. f is increasing when f prime is greater than 0. To find this, we look at our number line. f prime is greater than 0 on the intervals negative 1 to 0 and 1 to infinity f is decreasing when f prime is less than zero. Again, we'll look at our number line. f is decreasing on the intervals negative infinity to negative one and zero to one. Next, we want to find the local maximum and minimums. A local minimum is when f prime is changing from a negative slope to a positive slope. This happens at the points negative one and 1. You plug both of these numbers back into the original function to get the points negative 1, 2, and 1, 2. Local maximums occur when f prime changes from a positive slope to a negative slope. This happens at the x values 0. Back to find the y values, you plug x equals 0 back into the original function to get the point 0, 3. <laughs> the next thing we want to do is find the intervals of concavity. To find the intervals of concavity, the first step is to find f double prime. f double prime equals 12 x squared minus 4. Now we find the critical points of f double prime. We do this by setting 12 x squared minus 4 equal to 0. Our critical points of the f double prime function are x equals plus or minus root one third. We now put our critical points on a number line. Make sure to number your to label your number line f double prime. When I plug a number less than negative root one third, I would get a positive number. When I plug in a number, the number zero, I would get a negative number. And when I plug in a number greater than root one third, I get a positive number. Make sure that you're plugging these numbers into the f double prime function. To find when f is concave up, you find when f double prime is greater than zero. f double prime is greater than zero at So f is concave 
concave up went on the intervals negative infinity to negative root one third. F is concave down when F double prime is less than zero. F double prime is less than zero. Right. F double prime is less than zero on the interval negative root one third to root one third. F double prime is also greater than zero on the interval one third root one third to infinity. To find the inflection points, we plug our critical points into the F function. When we do that, we get the points negative root one third. 22 over 9 and root 1 third 22 over 9. And that's it for this video. Thanks.